Hi there guys, how's it going? This is Mark here and welcome to my video guitar lesson on percussive guitar playing. Um, first thing we're going to talk about um, is uh, what we're doing with the right hand. Um, actually no, the first thing is tuning, sorry I keep, I keep forgetting this. So uh, we're going to go through the tuning. Uh, this piece is in open D, same as my last video I did. Um, so open D tuning is um, starting from the lowest string, the E string, uh, we're going to tune that down to D. So we have D on the sixth string this one, um, A is normal, uh, D string is normal, uh, the G string goes down to F sharp, so that's that one there, that's the string number three, string number two which is B goes down to A, which is that one, and the high E string, string number one goes down to D, okay so from the lowest string we've got D, A, D, F sharp, A, D, okay, gives us an open D tuning, uh, which is a D major chord, basically, all those strings together. Okay, so once we're in tune together, um, we can get started. Um, so, first things first, actually, I'm going to talk about the left hand um, instead, because that's very easy, and we'll just get that out of the way. So, there's only two chords for this. Um, um, first chord is, is a G. So, we start with the G is on the fifth fret. We hold down the low two strings on the fifth fret. Okay, guys, so... Uh, so the second, I use my second finger on the low E, fifth fret, and then I use my third finger on the A string, fifth fret, just holding down those two strings. Kind of, kind of gives us a G major nine with the open strings, so it sounds really nice. And then the other chord is just D, which is obviously just open strings, so that's, so that's cool. So you've got G major nine, to D major. They're the only two, only two chords. I'm going to keep the left hand really simple. Uh, the, the, uh, the chord playing hand, the fretting hand, is going to be really simple. So we can focus on the right hand. It's all about the, the right hand for this exercise. Um, and uh, coming up with some new percussive ideas. Okay, so we're going to start on G major 9, okay, which is the 5th fret on the low two strings. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is tambora. Tambora is when you hit the strings down here by the saddle, this white thing here, right by the bridge. And you bounce off them. You bounce off the strings, so you don't... If you stay on the strings, you're going to mute it, so you want to cut straight off. I've done a few videos on this, um, so if you want a more detailed explanation, have a look at one of my other videos. But just quickly, you're basically going to bounce off them with the, this part of our fingers here, and that's called tambora. Okay, brilliant. So that, that plays the strings and gives us a nice percussive kind of boomy kick drum sound. Um, brilliant. Then we're going to go down here, and we're going to use the thumb on the front of the body, and then the fingers just underneath here, so we're going to go... That's on the soundboard, and that's underneath the guitar just there. So we're going to go. Okay, it's first just three things we've got. Uh, and then we're going to come here. We're going to, we're going to do some, kind of get like a, almost like a tom sort of sound on a, on a drum kit. The toms, or bongos, kind of sounds like bongos, which is quite cool. And you get different tones depending on where you tap the body here. So you get a deep, deeper bassier sound, and then higher, it goes higher as you move forward up towards the fretboard. Okay, so it's worth getting used to doing that. So it's thumb here and then fingers here and just sort of tapping. Stay really relaxed. Okay, so the, the beat we're actually going to play is going to be... So thumb, fingers, thumb, thumb. Okay, so we've got this. Okay, so... Tambora, thumb, fingers underneath. Thumb, fingers, thumb, thumb. Okay, so I just put that together. So we've got. A bit slower. So we've got kind of. And as we, I'm, I'm moving this way as I do that because you get different tones, which is quite cool, but also I'm moving towards a harmonic tap, which is going to be the next thing. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, so once you've done, once you've done, put that together. Do a harmonic tap. Uh, the first one's on 12, or whichever it could be 12 or 19. So basically, the harmonic tap is when you can tap all the strings, or at least the higher strings, uh, would, would be more useful actually, just, just the high three or four strings really, uh, on the 12th fret, right above the fret wire. I use my index finger, I use kind of the inside of the finger here, and I just tap on it and come straight off, similar to the tambora. You, you don't want to leave your finger on there because you'll, you'll just mute the harmonics. So you kind of bounce off them. And we get our tapped harmonic sound, which is really nice. So, um, so that's the next thing we're going to add in. 
So, um, so we're still on the G major 9. Uh, we're going to start with tambora. And second time is a harmonic tap on the 19th fret. Okay, so we've got this. Okay, cool. Um, that's the whole thing, that's the drum beat basically. So now we can just vary the chord. So I've only chosen two, obviously you can move that around wherever you like and kind of come up with your own thing. Um, just while we're learning it, we're gonna keep it really simple while you're sort of getting used to the techniques. Um, so the next one's just open D. So back to the tambour, exactly the same thing. That's it, yeah, nice simple beats, hopefully some new techniques in there, get used to doing this a little bit and kind of come out with your own rhythms using those. Um, and then as you get comfortable with that, you can obviously move the chords around and kind of maybe, not that chord, that sounds terrible. Um, and you can, yeah, try some different chords with the drum beat and, um, and kind of vary that as best you can. Um, so yeah, quite a short lesson today guys, but that's kind of, that's, kind of, uh, that's it, hopefully that's um, useful for you and um, thanks so much for watching today. Um, I've got lots more videos on my, my channel, so please subscribe. I'm doing them weekly at the moment. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. And let me know if you've got any questions or any lesson requests for, for next week. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, please go to Mark Ben Wilson if you'd like some more info or music or some videos from me. Um, and I shall see you again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.